Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kezzy. I'm Casey. And we are auditioning for the Food Network Star thing. And today we're going to be making blueberry popsicles for people who struggle with IBS like Kez over here. Alright, first we'll need our ingredients. To make this, you'll need blueberries, <laughs> two cups. So blueberries are rich in vitamin K, which promotes heart health, bone health, and blood clotting. Blueberries also have the highest levels of antioxidants. Blueberries help to prevent constipation and maintain regularity for a healthful digestive tract because of their fiber content. And then we'll need two cups of lactose-free yogurt. The probiotics in yogurt can help reduce acne and redness, while vitamin B12 keeps the skin looking fresh. Yogurt contains live probiotics, which is bacteria that may offer many health benefits, including gut health. And then you'll also need one cup of lactose-free milk. <laughs> and then you'll need one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then you'll also need one tablespoon of maple syrup. And then you'll also need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I lied to you guys, it's half a teaspoon. You'll also need some measuring cups. And then, obviously, you're gonna need some popsicle molds. <laughs> Lastly, you'll need a blender. All right, what you'll do is you'll add the yogurt in. So this is gonna be two cups of lactose-free yogurt. Then you'll add two cups of blueberries. A cup of lactose free milk. One teaspoon of cinnamon. You'll need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Tablespoon of maple syrup. <laughs> and then now you blend it. While that is blending, I wanted to talk about IBS. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, is a common disorder that affects the gastrointestinal tract. Clients who struggle with IBS can have symptoms that include cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, or both. IBS is a chronic condition that one will need to manage long term, but with the habits of a healthy diet, it can be done. IBS affects 5-10% to 10 of the population. A dietary approach is helpful for clients who identify a dietary component to their symptoms. However, the growing evidence supports dietary modifications to treat IBS. After that's done blending, you're going to pour the mixture into the popsicle mold. And you're going to put the stick in there. And then freeze for four hours. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and freeze these for four hours, like Kez said. No need. Alright, after four hours, you'll take the popsicles out of the molds and out of the freezer, and they'll look like this. And a healthy diet is essential for good health and nutrition. People with healthy eating patterns live longer and are at lower risk for serious health problems such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Thanks for watching the Kez and Casey show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. This is disgusting. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> is it better like that? And then you also need a 